ஐ பில் ஆர் எமர்ஜென்சி கான்ட்ரசெப்ஷன் ஸோ இஃப் யூ ஹேட் அன் அன்ப்ரொடெக்டட் செக்ஸ் த்ரீ டேஸ் அகோ வாட் ஆர் த சான்சஸ் தேட் யூ ஆர் நாட் ப்ரெக்னெண்ட் இஃப் யூ யூஸ் அன் ஐ பில் நவ் ஐ கெட் ஹண்ட்ரட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் லைக் திஸ் every day on an everyday basis now i'm going to answer some of the most important questions around the concept of emergency contraception in this particular video watch till the end of the video and drop down all your questions in the comments below i'm going to answer them very 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 personally this is because emergency contraception is something uh, which is quintessential um, kind of for the function of the entire society not everybody uh, had a family planning procedure done or not everybody is okay to get pregnant so here comes the importance of emergency contraception so most of the pills that are advertised as emergency contraception work around the concept of inhibiting the female sexual hormones uh, or preventing the ovulation from happening or preventing the fertilization from happening or um making the uterine lining uh, a little inhabitable for the fertilized uh, egg to stick on to or implant now these emergency contraceptive pills are deemed pretty safe if taken under proper supervision now what are the questions uh, that women have around emergency contraception so doctor i had an unprotected sex one week ago can i take emergency contraception now is it going to work no it is not going to work the success or failure of emergency contraception depends on a very short window the higher the success rate the earlier you take the pill after an unprotected intercourse preferably less than 72 hours only then you will probably have a you know you will probably be able to prevent pregnancy in 90 to 95% of the times the best window is to take it less than 12 hours of unprotected intercourse that is when you may prevent the pregnancy approximately at 95% as you increase as you forget or as you move on the later it is the lesser are the chances of pregnancy prevention the second question i get asked uh, most commonly is uh, if i take an emergency contraceptive pill now in this particular cycle can i have unprotected intercourse in the entire cycle no emergency contraception works only for about 72 hours and if you happen to have unprotected intercourse one week later you have to retake it or you have to see for other ways of emergency contraception no you cannot take it one week later it has to be less than 72 hours of unprotected intercourse the third common question is is this the abortion pill it is not the abortion pill it is not to you know abort or get done with the pregnancy but it is actually to prevent a pregnancy so please don't consume this emergency contraception as an abortion pill or anti pregnancy kind of a pill no it doesn't work that way then the fourth common question that i get asked is are there any side effects for emergency contraception yes basically emergency contraception has um, most of the combinations have very high dose of progesterone and sometimes taking high dose of progesterone can have certain side effects maybe a smaller amount of side effects like you know it can it can lead to pain in the breast it can lead to spotting your period cycle can be altered for about a one or two months after you take emergency contraception uh it can even lead to headache nausea dizziness yes these are the commonly affected side effects uh commonly uh, encountered side effects but people or women with certain complications certain medical complications like liver disease or heart disease or uncontrolled hypertension or even uncontrolled diabetes it is always better to take this emergency contraception under the supervision of a gynecologist i mean everybody who wants to take an emergency contraception i would say just talk to your gynecologist before taking it it's always safe for that way you know you can go to someone when you when you experience uncommon or rare side effects associated with emergency contraception the fifth question that i get asked is uh, can we use it multiple times in a cycle or can we use it regularly uh, month after month um, you know as a form of contraception no you cannot use an emergency contraception multiple times in a cycle or even as your regular contraception because uh, see you're loading your body with a high dose progesterone which is the most commonly prescribed uh, emergency contraception and it can have certain adverse effects or it can have certain uh, uh, unwanted effects on your body so don't use it multiple times or don't use it as your regular form of birth control The final question that I was asked uh, very recently by a patient of mine is can we use emergency contraception to prevent sexually transmitted infections the only only thing in this world which can prevent sexually transmitted infections is is condom 
emergency contraception is not going to give you any protection against STIs. So if you don't want any STIs or if you are using a contraception for uh, the prevention of STIs, go for a condom, not an emergency contraceptive pill. Now, I think I've covered almost everything related to emergency contraception and um, except the medications, of course. Uh, if you have any further questions, drop them in the comments below. Thank you very much.